what's up? Welcome to a new vlog. We just got to a new hotel. We are basically hopping around the island of Mallorca and we are in our second destination, well second hotel. We've done a lot of like touring little towns on the way. First we stayed in Soyer, so that vlog should already be up and we also kind of just toured around Dea and Valdemosa and today we drove all the way down south of the island to Calador. Per my research, per my TikTok research, they say that the beaches on the south side of the island are some of the best and for this hotel I ended up splurging and got a really nice view so let's give you guys a little hotel room tour. Here's the bathroom over here. Pretty basic but I love the tile, so pretty. We have a shower. We have a TV over here and the bed right here. A little mini bar, some water, a little open closet over here. And then this view is the best part. I was shook when I saw this. Look how absolutely gorgeous this water is. And there's like a little beach over there. There's two pools at this resort, which I do not know, so that's exciting. If you know me in real life, you know that I love to swim. I literally think I was a mermaid in my past life, like not even a joke. I actually cannot wait to swim in the most beautiful water like this whole trip. I am so excited. So where we just were in um, Soyer, we could have gone to the beach. Well, I guess we did go to like the port of Soyer, which was a beach, but um, we went there today and we had already checked out of our hotel and we didn't have towels. So, you know, I didn't really want to like be uncomfortable on the car ride down here. And I was kind of just like holding out for the even better beaches. I'm not gonna lie, Ryan drove all the way here and I pretty much slept the whole time. So I didn't really see too much, but I woke up like when there was 20 minutes left on the car ride here. And immediately I saw a lot of differences. Number one, it's not really in the mountains like Soyer was. And then also like the vegetation looks a lot more like Texas where we're from and it's just like looks a little bit more dry I guess near the water it doesn't look like that but like right outside the hotel it definitely looks like you're in a desert but in Soyer it was stunning like blooming flowers everywhere bougainvillea everywhere there was lemon lime trees and it was just so pretty even on the highways they were like lined with really pretty flowers but here not so much and i feel like it's a little bit more commercialized here for example like this hotel i guess it's an all-inclusive i didn't really understand when i was booking it but i did the half board so i guess we get breakfast and dinner included and we could switch the dinner to lunch if we wanted to and just the vibe of the area kind of feels a little bit more commercialized we'll show you guys the shops like right outside of our hotel and it definitely feels a little bit more touristy it was pretty late in the day already but i was determined to swim so we headed down to the bar got some drinks and this is what the beach looked like i believe it's called cala ferrera the water was so clear and beautiful but i will say there was a lot of screaming kids also they charged us for pool towels i don't know if this is normal here but I thought this was weird. You got your money back when you returned them, but they also did charge you if you wanted fresh towels. This is what the all-inclusive dinner looked like. It wasn't terrible, but it also wasn't the best thing I've eaten. But I did get to try the iconic pastry in Mallorca. Good morning. We slept in today, which felt pretty nice. And now we are going to go down to the breakfast. Breakfast is included and dinner is included. So let's go check out breakfast. Actually, I forgot to say this. The dinner wasn't actually horrible i think we might just switch it to lunch like all of the rest of the days and then have dinner at other restaurants in town because there seemed to be a lot and i want to try them but we definitely got filled up it just wasn't the best food i've ever had but obviously it's a buffet so i don't know what i would expect vlogging on my iphone because i can't hold one other thing in my hand um but we just parked and i guess the parking like pay box is like locked up and i asked the person at the restaurant and she was like yeah if it's locked it's free i was like perfect this is a good start to the day the area we're in is calador but we're actually going to the calador beach right now because we are on our hotel is on cala ferreira i believe and so it's literally like an eight minute drive it's like literally like the next beach over um so we technically could walk but we have a car so might as well use it burns pretty easily. They do have a bunch of chairs. We just couldn't find the guy to reserve one and they all look booked up. Um, they also have like some restaurants on the beach or just like drink places, smoothie places, ice cream. I bought a bunch of like random little things on Amazon for this trip and this is one of them. This is a packable hat. You can like literally wrap it up and then just pack it in your bag. Like, 
this. Oh, it's super compact. And it's a visor. Sometimes visors are just more practical, especially if you are laying on a chair. That's what it looks like. Do I look like a full on mom? It looks good. You're your team. I love these trees that grow like up. Yeah, they're so unique. I don't know what they even are, but they're cool. And the little cactus. Aww. We accidentally found this little beach wave. We don't know what it is yet. So we'll see. Hopefully. Yeah, but hopefully it's a little bit more secluded because the other area was pretty dang crowded. Of the spot. There's not a lot of sand here, but we both have like good shoes for rocky beaches. We were honestly questioning if the other beaches were man made because the sand was like so compact and so perfect. We were like, this seems a little suspicious, even though it was like nice, obviously. I was just telling Ryan, like, I don't even hate kids, but now I realize why people plan like adult only vacations, especially like near the beach where you want to just hear the water like this. It sounds like so peaceful here. Okay, we switched spots to this flat area. And right over here, there's stairs. So we are planning on, maybe not cliff jumping, but <laughs> I'm gonna jump off like the, the lowest stair. But I cannot get over this water, you guys. My goodness. We're getting ready to head out, but just taking it all in one last time. We came not even a mile down, parked over here, and I feel like this is the only place that you don't really have to pay for parking. Like we haven't seen any pay to park meters, so that's kind of nice. I take back what I said about this being a desert area, but like driving in, it definitely looks like that, but at least over here, there's flowers everywhere and it's just so pretty. All right, we're gonna go to this beach. They have like a beach bar over here, so we're gonna go check it out. We got a cocktail menu. I just ordered a mojito and a hot dog. Like, I'm not too hungry. I want to still eat dinner, so I just wanted something pretty light. But, and then Ryan got this really good coffee. Which one did you get? Classic one. That, so I'm good. I'm gonna try like, one of these. Should I? Or caramel. Maybe if we come back one day. Okay, this is my mojito. It literally looks like there's sand at the bottom. <laughs> Sugar. And I asked for extra sugar, but I forgot that like they literally just pour sugar in here instead of simple syrup. Like I asked for it to be extra sweet is what I meant. Um, even when I ordered a lemonade at that one restaurant in Deo, where we in Deo, I think. It was just like sugar at the bottom of my glass and like this is not going to dissolve. So like every sip I'm just eating granules of sugar, which isn't bad, but it's not amazing. <laughs> but this is a huge drink. So that's good. We just got home. It wasn't even that far away, but I always fall asleep at the last like eight to ten minutes. I don't know why. I like actually look at the map and then decide it's a great time to fall asleep. Um, so I passed out for a solid ten minutes at least, and I was like in deep sleep. Like, yeah, after I swim. I am knocked out. And I guess I also had a cocktail, which made me feel pretty good. Coming back to the beach that we're on, our hotel's on, like I am so, so grateful that we found that little beach with absolutely no one in it, no kids screaming, no adults screaming. Like there's so many adults that are just like 
no offense, just so loud. I don't know why they're screaming, but that was so nice. We spent a long time there and I feel like we'll go back there if we don't find anything better. Um, but I do want to go like beach hopping tomorrow maybe. I basically went on the maps and turned it on satellite so that you could see like the blue water. And you can also see which beaches have sand and which beaches are more rocky on the satellite. So I screenshotted a couple and hopefully we have time to do like more than three tomorrow. I would definitely advise you guys to not be scared of the rocky beaches because like the sandy beaches are pretty obvious say they're beautiful but I feel like those are definitely gonna be the ones with the most people um, like obviously no one wants to go on a rocky beach but bring your water shoes wear them in the water and bring floats because I feel like well obviously we could have bought floats um, in the shops around here because there's a bunch of them I think I already said that but I love my floats so much they're from Amazon and they're just the best they're just so comfortable convenient to carry and like great to pack because you can deflate them into nothing. I'm also kind of curious if there is like adult only hotels even around here somewhere because I feel like this place is like a lot more families than I expected. I guess I don't know why I didn't expect that but there are a ton of kids here which again I don't hate kids but in my everyday life I feel like I'm not around kids to even like think about planning a vacation without kids you know but now in the future I might consider it at least in the time being that we don't have kids. I'm glad I ate something because I needed some food in my system, but that means I think we'll probably go to dinner a little bit later. It's like five o'clock right now. And there are a couple restaurants that I wanna try. I'm not really sure exactly where they are, but they shouldn't be too far from this hotel. I didn't make any reservations for dinner in this area, so hopefully we get in. I'll update you guys on how that's working because I just feel like a lot of places especially in Barcelona you had to make reservations and just like in general here if you want to eat at the nicer spots if you want to eat at the most popular spots like you have to be so good about getting that reservation right when it opens like I could not get reservations for El I don't really know how to say it El Olivio if you know you know that one and Cast Patro March I could not get reservations for it. I tried so hard I tried like right at midnight Spain time but it was very hard to do. And I really don't know how anyone else makes reservations. And maybe you can walk into some of these places, but sometimes I have to remind myself that I don't have to do everything that Instagram or TikTok is telling me to do. Like I can be more spontaneous and not book things and just like go into a restaurant that I like stumble upon. I feel like being more spontaneous makes the day way more fun, but that's very hard for me to do. Even though I'm a Sagittarius and like I am supposed to be spontaneous, that's like a characteristic of a Sagittarius, but I'm absolutely not spontaneous whatsoever. Maybe I'm on the cusp of being a Scorpio and Sagittarius. I'm trying to decide, should I wash my hair today? I washed it yesterday, and I also am just gonna go back into the ocean tomorrow. Is that gross? I feel like it's kind of gross, but I'm also like, eh, it's just not worth it. <laughs> also, I was planning on getting cute every night, like doing my makeup, doing my hair, blowing it out. And now I'm just so pooped, at least today. Like I will not be doing that. I don't think I'll probably be wearing makeup to dinner. And I definitely will not be doing my hair, even if I wash it. We're going casual tonight. I just put on a sundress. I did like very minimal concealer. Only 8.10 and the sun's like five o'clock. Sun right now. Yeah. It stays bright silly here. It has some power right now, yeah. yeah. Okay, we're actually gonna get Indian food tonight because that just sounds really good. I feel like that's a good casual dinner this is what it looks like right outside of our hotel like very commercial almost wait is this the texas steakhouse now there's a texas steakhouse and i think that's just so funny being from texas seeing something like that here <laughs> um but over here there's like shops that sell like floaties this one says florida center earlier we saw like a san francisco market what Oh, San Francisco's over there. It's so funny to me. Oh, yeah. Little Key West vibes over here. Right, right over here is what I'm talking about. When I say there's like a bunch of these tourist shops with like floats and swim stuff, goggles, sand toys. Anytime I eat Indian food, like outside of the country, they have so much to choose from. Like I feel like even Indian restaurants in Austin don't have so many things to choose from, so I'm excited. We have the lamb rogan josh, the butter chicken, look how good that looks, it smells so good. We have rice on the side and garlic naan.
it is the next day and your girl got visited by mother nature so she's having a day but we're at a different cala today um i think we're gonna just kind of like beach hop as much as we can before we have to get back for ryan to work um he did take off like four days but i think today is like him starting back friday up. just need to wrap up mostly stuff for the week and book stuff for next week so realistically got it we've like got some work hours, to do yeah. yeah um but this place looks like we have to um like kind of walk a little further review on these shoes i love them they're the tevas and they're very comfortable perfect for going in the water like they're water shoes too and they're just really comfortable to walk in Water, but right when we got in the water, Ryan slipped and he got some pretty bad injuries. I was telling him to use one of my pads. <laughs> I can. Okay, well, maybe we should. Here. Use your resources, you know? The sticky part isn't gonna absorb it, so you're gonna have to hold the sticky part. So there was a path that connected um, the last kala that we were at to this one. Look how freaking blue this is. And look at the boats. They look like they're actually floating. Well, they are, I guess, but you know what I mean? Like, it just looks so insane. This one does have like a little bit of a sanded beach. It doesn't look like a lot, so. We're gonna go down and find a place to put our stuff. We made it down. It was actually kind of hard to get down here because it's super, super steep and like very little pathways and people are going up and down like the same pathway. So at first I was like, is it even worth it to come down here? But it is just so pretty. I was like, whatever, let's try. It wasn't that bad once you got like past the hardest part. Got ready for dinner and something that I think is so funny is that I packed a white purse. I literally bought like a cute little Amazon white purse just so I can have a purse for when I need to wear a white purse. I don't know if that makes sense. My brain is fried because I'm not drinking enough water. I really need to start drinking more water. Anyways, I have not changed out my purse once and I'm wearing like black shoes. It doesn't really go with this outfit, but at this point I don't really care. We just needed to get out the door because Ryan actually has a call at 8.30 and it is currently 6.25. We're gonna try this dinner restaurant called Restaurant Different. Heard a lot of good things about it, so I'm excited to try it. I already ordered a Hugo spread, it's so good. I don't know if you pronounce it Hugo or Hugo, but it's delicious. It is so refreshing and it's perfect if you are someone who doesn't love the taste of the alcohol. It's like sweet, but kind of tastes like Sprite and Mint, honestly, which is what I literally make at home for a mocktail. It all of a sudden got super humid out, and it's not a good day to have blown out my hair and did my makeup. And there's some clouds above us, which it seems like it's about to rain, but it didn't say rain on the radar, so we'll see. We're going to get the crispy rice. Mm -hmm. I think we also need to get the tuna cornetto. What do you think? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I want to ask her. What Either way, is. I mean, let's eat it. <laughs> okay. I love if you want to get pasta. I feel like that's weird to get here, but I also, yeah, like it also sounds really good. Starting out with two fresh fish plates. This is like a tuna tartare in a cone, and then I'm not really sure what this is, but it looks like a ceviche with some crispy rice. I decided that I shouldn't get the pasta, and I got the chimichurri steak, and Ryan got the burger. 
morning, you guys. It is our last day here in Caldor. We are on our way to the Saturday market. I'm so excited for this. Of course, I'm on the hunt to find more rings because I feel like I always am at these kind of markets. Um, and maybe some art for our home. I literally said the same thing in Mexico City. I did find a ring, but I will say that it bent out of shape so quickly and it like tarnished so, so fast. Like even faster than my damn Amazon rings. I was like, what the heck? So hopefully we'll find something of better quality, but this market happens a believe every Wednesday and Saturday so hopefully you can try to plan your itinerary around it because I did um, so that's why we stayed in Caldor in this like time period we haven't had breakfast just yet so hoping that there's some kind of pastries at the market I heard there's a lot of fruits too so maybe we'll get some fruits and take it to the beach later um, maybe we'll do some more beach hopping but if not we'll probably go back to the cove that we found the first day that we were here I think it's down this way. So in Positano, they have this store that sells like beer Bradley like bags that's becoming so popular now and just sells like a bunch of pouches and this reminds me of it. 48 euros for like a little duffel. Super cute. And I think beer Bradley is actually coming back into style. This is the store name over here. Even two years ago, I probably would not be attracted to this because I was in my sad beige era, but like now I'm obsessed with like anything pottery and kind of colorful and all this wooden stuff. I love kitchen things, so literally anything for the kitchen I'm obsessed. But I'm like, what do I need this for? What would I use it for? I'm trying to think of a reason before I actually just spend money to spend money, but like it's shiny inside, it looks so cool. getting olive oil because my mom told me to. So this is grand. Gosh, you can smell these olives from weeks away. This is so cool. These are the most beautiful heirloom tomatoes I've ever seen. These are huge. I think we're gonna get a sandwich and maybe take it to the beach. Just got it in the market and the last thing we got was strawberries, I think and I'm so excited to eat. I have not eaten anything other than that orange juice and I'm starving. I didn't really wanna like sit down at a cafe, which I'm glad I didn't because holy crap, it is currently 11.55. It was like around like 11.40 when we left. We were packed like sardines. It was so uncomfortable. It was starting to get hot. We were really tired because we were walking around a lot, honestly. Like I'm pooped right now. Um, we got there at like 9.20 and like even driving into the area, we were like, where is the market? Why is it so dead here? Um, and now there's so many cars, especially trying to find parking is probably not going to be fun for them right now. We found parking immediately when we got here and we walked like about like nine minutes and then we found the market and it was like super chill at first, but holy crap, did people start coming around like 11, I would say 1030. So if you're going to go to this market, go right when it opens. It is worth it because it is so 
unbearable, honestly, with so many people around. We barely could like push ourselves out of the market just to try to get to our car. Um, so very thankful we went early, but like, oh my gosh, I just wanted to like sit there and stare at all the vegetables and fruits. Like, I wish we had that at our farmer's market in Austin. Like we don't have that many fruits and vegetables. I don't know. Like I've never seen heirloom tomatoes that big in my life. I told Ryan when I get home, the first place I'm going to go is Central Market and get me an heirloom tomato so I can make a little tomato sandwich or like mozzarella with tomato. Oh my God, that sounds so good. But like, obviously we don't have a kitchen. So I just got some easy like finger foods kind of thing. We got ham sandwich, which I'm very excited to eat because when I went to Barcelona when I was younger, that was the one thing I remember is this really, really good Haman sandwich. So I was honestly in heaven. Like that was such a fun little market it was actually never ending like and it's not in a loop so I felt like we were missing some streets because it would like branch off and then it would end on the branch so then we'd walk back but then you would miss like this because this one took you like all the way around so it was kind of confusing but a lot of it is kind of like similar stuff I mean there's stores too which that's the thing that I feel like I missed out on in some streets because there was like so many beautiful home stores like Oh, I love painted plates. I love glassware, anything to do with like kitchen stuff. I absolutely love it. I would have gone crazy, but I was just like, I don't know how I'm going to pack this in my bag. Do I have enough space? Probably not. Um, so I really did have to hold back. I did get this really cute seashell ring and it's perfect because like it literally matches my seashell necklace. This is from Amazon, um, but I love it. Also, I did press ones this morning and I'm obsessed with these. These are from Amazon. They're like probably like maybe 10 bucks. They look so good. I was telling Ryan the other day, like would I have rather came when there's less people, but the water is like a lot colder and the weather is a little bit chillier. I honestly rather have nicer weather and just deal with the people. The water is like still pretty dang cold, even when it's like nice out. So I don't think I would have liked it if the water was super, super cold and it was like kind of chilly outside. So I'm just kind of seeing what beaches I want to go to today. And like I said yesterday, I think I told you guys this, but don't be afraid to go to the rocky beaches because sometimes they look the coolest and there most likely will be less kids at those because usually parents will want to take them to like somewhere that's more safe with um, sand. Um, so you can literally see like this little cove right here doesn't have sand compared to up here where it has sand. My options here? Here, how about you just look at the map and maybe like look around. So I think this is a national park and if you're in a car you have to pay six euros to get in. Finally time to eat. This looks so good. I wish I got it cut in half though. Got the strawberries and the ham. We came back to our hotel and swam at the Cala at our hotel for a little bit, got some drinks, and then took a fat ass nap after we showered. And now we're going to get dinner. We're getting dinner pretty late. We've been eating pretty early, but it's currently nine o'clock and it's still light outside, which is so weird. Like really light. I think we're gonna get some pasta and pizza tonight. Hey, Ryan got the Mallorca spreads. I think this has like orange juice in it, but I got just the regular Hugo spreads. And we asked the waiter, yeah, how do you pronounce it? Because people are pronouncing it Hugo or Hugo. And he said he's from Spain, so he says it Hugo. And English people say Hugo or Hugo. No, English people say Hugo. Well, like, you would say like Hugo Boss, not Hugo Boss. You know? Wait, what? You know, like the brand, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you would say Hugo, not Hugo. Yeah. So I don't know if there's a proper way to say it. Hmm. Anyways, cheers. Last. Last night in Calador. This pasta smells amazing. It has truffle, mushrooms, and then Ryan got a pizza and it also looks so good.
this is the restaurant we just ate at. I would definitely recommend to make a reservation because maybe you'll get on the patio, but they sat us inside. But look how cute it is. We just got done dinner. My pasta was really, really good. I yeah, think the pizza was good too. The place is called Dom Marcello, I believe. So definitely go if you are here in Mallorca. I wanted to give you guys a recap of this whole part of our stay in Mallorca. Number one, I have beef with this hotel, I think, because the AC is just not yeah. cold enough. And I honestly don't really love the vibes of like this area and just like the hotel itself. Brian compared it to a cruise, which I was like, yes, <laughs> that is pretty much what it feels like like it is like an all-inclusive you can do half board or full board we did half board and i don't know i just don't love it here and we actually spend the most days here than we did in like uh Sawyer and then we are staying in palma so i'm kind of sad about that because i feel like the palma hotel is going to be the best and we're there for like three nights which is a good amount of time but we're also doing like a boat day i think i said this before but just like the area around here is very commercialized and it's just like not my vibe to be honest also it is so loud every night here they have can you hear that ryan just opened the the door and it's always like mama mia <laughs> playing or something like that sweet caroline i'm like oh good lord yeah our room is like right next to the nightly entertainment so yeah that's also giving very much cruise vibes the beach we went to earlier today was really nice i don't think i've recapped that it's really interesting because a lot of the beaches are very narrow so they're super packed and people are like on top of each other just like there's stuff everywhere but this one definitely had a little bit more sand so Everything was just like a little bit more spread out. Um, and then I also forgot to mention that we have noticed that pretty much all of the beaches here are topless beaches. Like I think it's just normal for people to be topless here. And even just like the children are just like running around naked. I think that might just be the culture here, but that's something to know if you are uncomfortable with it or like need to know that for family reasons. So some of the beaches were easier to get to than others. I feel like you can easily do a quick Google search of which ones, you know, have like a long trail. Ever since doing the beach that we did yesterday with like the really steep hike, I now kind of regret not going to Caladea because I only didn't go there because I've heard it was like just really hard to get to, but we already had to walk for the beach that we went to yesterday. So I was like, how much harder could I have been? Like, I don't even know. So I'm kind of regretting not going to Caladea because I wanted to see like what the water was looking like all over the island. I guess we did kind of see it in the port of Sawyer, but the water down here south of the island is just so blue and like so perfect. So it's gonna be interesting to see what the beach situation is gonna be like in Palma, but obviously I will vlog it all for you guys. So I wanted to end the vlog here. I would link the hotel that I'm staying at for you guys, but I really don't recommend it. It is called Barcelo Agua Marina, just for your future reference if you're planning to book and you're like looking through hotels. When we were near the market, that little area was like a lot cuter. It reminded me of Soyer, kind of like a little cute village town so if there's any you know places there maybe stay over there because either way you're going to drive to all of these beaches on this coast we already went to Soyer, Dea, and Valdemosa and that vlog is already live so if you guys are interested in watching that one i'll link it below and i'll see you guys in palma bye